brachial artery, but didn't cut it. She's out of surgery. And now she's resting. Chloe, what happened? I don't, I don't know. Everything happened so fast. Do you know who Damon Merrick is? Or why he hates you? I know exactly who Damon Merrick is. Start over and tell me everything. Did you and Rachel try to contact Sarah? I'm not going to chastise or blame you, Chloe. But I need the whole story. So, I got my dealer to meet us, since he knows Sarah. Frank Bowers. Yeah, that's right. But, Damon showed up with him. What did Merrick want? He asked us why we were so interested in Sarah. And what did you say? No, nothing Of course. Is that how it became violent? It was it was actually Rachel who got angry. She was curious that he wouldn't tell her where Sarah was. This is exactly what I've been afraid of. Rachel won't let anything stop her. It wasn't only that. She was already angry about Damon pushing me around. She is like her mother. Quick-tempered, rash. I've always been afraid of losing her the way I lost Sarah. What happened next? Damon had a knife out, and we all could see it. But then he said something that pissed Rachel off. And she just grabbed a piece of wood and hit him. And then he stabbed her. I keep thinking that maybe I could have done something, but when he attacked her, I just froze. It's not your fault. And Frank held him off so we could get to the truck. I heard a scream, but I don't know what happened. And then we were here. I appreciate you telling me the truth. What are you going to do about Damon? Find out if he is alive. First of all, my department's been after him for some time. I was told that if Rachel had arrived only a few minutes later, she might not have, um... Thank you, Chloe. You saved my world. It will be some time before Rachel wakes up. I promise. I'll let you know when she does. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Steph. How's Drew? Pretty good. Miss Amber just told me Rachel's going to be okay. I'm really glad. Yeah. Well, our room's just down the hall. You should come by. Okay. Sure. Definitely. I 
I don't think I can sit still any longer. Might as well stretch my legs while I wait for Rachel to wake up. One more hour of waiting and I would have read that. Being in a hospital this long sucks. I just want Rachel to wake up and then I'll feel better. I owe Frank big time. Can't believe he did that for us. I hope he's okay. Not like I can do anything about it in one way or the other. And what about Damon? Is, is he gonna come after us? I actually feel better knowing that James Amber is on his case. Ugh, that's weird. Mom brought so many of these home when Dad died, and not a single one described how I felt. John Prescott. What's he writing to the hospital about? Is this for real? I wonder if Damon Merrick classifies as a biohazard. He's definitely human waste. Is that Mikey and Drew's dad? I wonder how he's doing. Is this Drew's room? All right then. Thank you. Hi. Mr. North? That's me. And you are? I'm Chloe. You here to see Drew? Yeah. How are, uh, how are things going? Oh, you know how it is. Ups and downs. Drew's hurt, of course. But there's other things going well for us. Uh, I'm moving back into my, my old apartment in two and a half hours. I don't know if you know this, but uh, Mikey's been crashing at Drew's dorm. Oh? Uh, I had a bit of trouble with work. And it's all been pretty hard. Anyway... Drew managed to scrape together enough to get me back on my feet. I'm glad things are starting to work out then. Oh no. You said you were Chloe. Mikey's mentioned you a few times now. I have a question maybe you can answer. Sh sure Both of those boys have been acting a little... Well... Guilty, lately. Yeah, I, I've been spending most of my time looking for work. I'm worried I, I missed something important. Do you know if anything's going on with them? You should probably ask Drew. I uh, don't really know any details. I do know that... Whatever it is, they did it because they wanted to help you. Thanks, Chloe. They actually have helped me out, money-wise. We're a family, you know? We deal with things together. Oh, excuse me. You made it. Oh. Hey, Chloe. 
Hey, Drew. So, what have you been doing all day? Um, not much. Homework. Hanging out with my dad. Dealing with the dumb jokes about the plate in my leg. Sorry to hear it. It's, it's all good. Hmm. <laughs> Love the hair, by the way. Pretty cool. Thanks. <laughs> just, uh, trying it out. Sometimes you've just gotta do something new. Hey, any news about Rachel? Her mom seemed hopeful. Rachel's stable. She'll probably wake up soon. How'd she get hurt? You'll think I'm joking when I tell you, but I'm not. What happened? She got stabbed in the arm by demon fucking Merrick. Seriously? It, it wasn't because of me, was it? No. Somehow, we've got our own shit with him now. That's crazy. Fuck that guy! I wish I could get my hands on him. Drew, chill out, okay? Uh, I'm headed out. Everything okay in here? Yep. Yeah. Don't have too much fun now. Try to keep it appropriate for the hospital. Bye, Dad. See ya, Pops. Man. Maybe... I shouldn't have mentioned Damon. Rachel's gonna be up soon. Should probably head over when I'm ready. Ooh, I want to eat that. Right now. Those must be from Steph's parents. Look at that. Wells being nice for a change. Drew's been in a lot of pain today. I... I think the football team needs thicker helmets. Yep. Definitely too many concussions. That'll be an interesting read. All right, I'm gonna head out. It was really great to see you, Chloe. Agreed. Don't be a stranger, okay? Yeah? Tell Rachel we're rooting for her. You bet. More like silent hospitals slowly drive friends and family insane. Hey. Just heard the fire went out. Went out? Those guys you look exhausted. Control. No. It's completely out. It extinguished Unless himself. you get stabbed. Rachel's mom does not look okay. Hey. Chloe, I can't even express thank you so much. 
I'm sorry. I'm a wreck. I stepped out to get some air. Rachel doesn't need me crying in front of her. Your hair. I almost didn't notice it. Oh. Yeah. It's... It's not a big deal. I bet Rachel loves it. I can't imagine what I would do if we lost her. Me too. You've grown so close, haven't you? Yeah. It's weird to think we just met a few days ago. When you meet someone who changes everything, you just know. Well, hang in there, Mrs. Amber. I will. Dad, I'm glad that you're here. Me too, Rachel. It really hurts. Shh. The pain will pass. Chloe's here. You want me to stay? No. I'll be okay. Thanks, Dad. I'll come back in a little while. My guardian angel. How are you? Not great. Better with you here. Rachel. I'm sorry. What? What for? You're here because of me. Because I choked back there in the junkyard. What? Shut up. You were so fierce and I, I just froze. God, I fucked it up. And I'm so sorry. And, and you saved my life. You saved my life. I almost lost you. I can't believe I almost... You're not getting rid of me that easy. Good. Happy that your dad's here. I mean... I'm still mad at him. For everything he's done. But... It felt so good to lean on him. He's my dad, you know? I felt completely safe. Like on Mount Hood. <laughs> Would you do something for me? Anything. Sarah. Mom. <laughs> it's so weird to say. I'm not even sure what she is, honestly. But <laughs> I think I still want to meet her. I figured you would. I don't even know if she's still in Arcadia Bay. Will you find her, please? You really want this, don't you? I do, Chloe. I really do. Then, of course, whatever it takes. 
But my dad has her number. Maybe in his office. Our house keys just under the mat. The code is 0722. To your... Your dad's office? 0722. Yeah. My birthday. I'll find her, Rachel. And then I'll... I'll tell her how fucking cool you are. Thank you, Chloe. For... Everything. Uh, hey, Elliot. Hey! Wait. Your hair, it's... different. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I like it. It's... uh... It's nice. A uh, nice balloon, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it's for Drew. Were you, were you just in there? I'm actually here for Rachel. What? Rachel's here? What happened? Uh... She... got stabbed... by a psycho. Oh my god. Yeah. It was... insane. Holy shit. Are you okay? Uh, I'm fine. She's fine too, by the way. Are you, are you two in some kind of trouble? You can tell me if you are, you know. I won't judge. Nothing we can't handle. Chloe! I'm seriously worried about you. Well, don't be. Uh, I mean, you're hanging out with Rachel Amber a lot lately, right? So what? So, obviously something is going on. I swear, man. Everything's really okay. Okay. I trust you. Just remember I'm here, okay? If you suddenly need something. Thanks. Anyway, see you around. Yeah. See you around, Chloe. <laughs> 